the news network for the people, combating mainstream media. The Washington, D.C. mayor threatens the people 90 days in jail and a $5,000 fine for residents who violate the stay-at-home order during the coronavirus lockdown. Now, Mayor Bowser's directive came just hours after neighboring states Maryland and Virginia each unveiled similar orders on Monday. Quote, our message remains the same, stay home, end quote, Bowser said in a statement on Monday. Now, there are exceptions to the stay-at-home order for grocery shopping and essential workers. People are allowed to perform exercise outside as long as the people keep six feet apart or are with members of the same household. Residents are also able to obtain medical care, but there is still a ban on mass gatherings of 10 people or more. The nation's capital has had a relatively small number of coronavirus cases, with just 401 documented so far. Now, the threat of jail time did not sit well with those pushing for civil liberties at the time. Monica Hopkins, executive director of the ACLU of the District of Columbia, told the Washington Post, quote, we would be deeply concerned if anyone actually was arrested for violating the order. D.C. courts are operating in a limited capacity due to the virus. It's unclear when arrested people would actually be able to be released, Hopkins said. Now, she also adds, what we would hope for is voluntary compliance with the stay-at-home order and discretion on the part of the officers to break those sort of things up and send the people back home, Hopkins said. Now, D.C.'s Metropolitan Police Department did not immediately provide answers about the enforcement including whether residents would be issued warnings for a first offense. Trump said at a Monday evening press conference at the White House that federal officials are allowing local autonomy. Quote, we're letting the governors do in their state pretty much what they want with our supervision and they consult with us in all cases. End quote, Trump said. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like and don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the latest information. And let's hear what you think about this in the comments below. Is this treading on the civil liberties of the people or is this what we need to do to stop the virus outbreak? Let's hear it in the comments below.